five consequences of allowing your erection to give you direction five major consequences of when a man allow his erection to give him direction that's the worst thing that can happen to any man on earth and it's unfortunately today this is what is ravaging our society this is why people cannot decide and, and determine what they do because they have allowed their direction to give them direction but before i share these five points to you this picture of a man you're watching here this okay so i know who here let me read the story as i receive it see the 62 year old the current beast of a father who defied his three-year-old little innocent daughter in anambra state his name is magnus odeka he lives he lives at number 13 abba street omaba omaba place phase two in our richard and Amber state he is a dangerous dog and a well-known motor park thought according to them here allegedly in our nature who was who has been in and out of prison for a couple of time this man that called himself a father has continuously subjected his little innocent daughter and wife to physical abuse trauma and long time starvation he didn't only defile the little girl but he has been molesting her knockingly repeatedly since when God knows I don't want to go further in this story. It is so so many profound words which I wouldn't like because of my Facebook policy. The truth of the matter, a 62-year-old man caught always using his akaya, his finger, to destroy the dam below of his own three years old daughter. The mother took her to the hospital and when she was examined, her body is wide open like a grown-up woman. When I asked her, what happened to you? She said, Daddy will always do put his hand in my pee. The question remains, what is 62 years old man doing in a three-year-old child? So I want to tell you three things I think may be responsible for the way you see old man misbehaving number one some are into rituals i think someone like Mata said that's nothing like money rituals some are into rituals yes i know some pastors so-called pastors who one of the operation they gave to them is get a innocent virgin have contact with her knock with her you'll be able to deliver through your program because by the time he inseminates his bola inside that little virgin he has presented and dedicated that virgin to the altar so when he comes to the stage and shake his hand people will fall down he will see far he will prophesy I have heard story of some pastor who came from that. And what I said, that's nothing like Ogwego. He will all go go carry here now because by the time he dies, he said people are falling down. All those manipulation is because of money. He wants to make money. He will all go carry here. So because of ritual. Number two, some are addicted to knocking ministry. Yes, there are some addiction. They don't have boundaries anymore. They don't have boundaries. I know that somebody of that nature, no boundary because it's addiction into Nakisim ministry. Number three, some that they swear for them, according to Flav Broken. It was a cause, they caused them with that particular action. I heard of a story of a man whom 
defy someone's daughter. The man said, Oh, my daughter, you did this. Menegawa, you will never stop doing it. Today, it has that you have finished that person. Even as a person who we are color, he cannot resist. Anybody is interested. Even if you bring goat that is putting us skate, he will do he will, he will call him goat. As long as you are putting us skate, anything skate, he is interested. After he finishes, he will regret. But he cannot stop. This these are the three reasons I think this more these people do the ritual addiction and cause later on them. Then let me share with you the five consequences of allowing your erection to give you direction. Number one, it will end you in destruction, in regret. Because you can never have at the end of the day. Your result will always be had. I know, had I know. The more you say had I know, the more you still come back to do the same thing. Because you allow your reaction to give you direction. Number two, consequences of it. It will make you to have a wrong choice in life. The example is in the Bible, someone like Jacob, who suffered and served seven good years. For the person he loved. Unfortunately, they gave him the wrong person. But because of his insatiable need for Nakinson ministry, he just went in with her. Because there's no way he can tell me, you spent seven years in a family. You don't know the voice of Leah and Rachel. But because of his Nakinson ministry, he decided to hold on. So I better make a knock up. Tomorrow I go complain. May they give me the person why I say. They thought they're going to allow him. Because he's a tricky man. He knocked her, and in those days, if you knock with any lady, you go, you go marry her. And we knocked her, and came back in the morning, complained. They told her, you cannot, except you want to serve another seven years. And he accepted. So it will make you to end up with the wrong person in terms of choice making or marriage. Number three, it will make you not to be financially stable for if you see anybody who is wealthy and still and still maybe humanized maybe somebody like the, somebody that just were dead if he is not humanizing he, will, he has he needed to be richer than the way he is Someone that just got wedded recently that is running. I don't want to mention anybody there. Uh, uh, uh. Because every day you are battling with my picking this way, my picking this way. You are allowing your direction to give you direction. So it will make you to keep on distracted. So the level of your finances, if God made you to be a trillionaire, you will be remain as a billionaire in dollar. You can say it doesn't matter. Let me manage that one. Yeah, that's okay. But the truth of the matter, if you never know get to your zenith of your achievement and potentials, you won't get there. Number four, the consequences of when you are becoming into Nakensi ministry. You will be neglected, insulted, disrespected. Because by the time you want to have it, little gears that, that don't have class with you, you bring yourself too low to their level. And that's why you can see a matured man, his mother will be calling him by his name. A clear to stop that rubbish. And this is the clear to myself. I call him, hello, sir, Uncle Cletus. But his mother will be talking to him anyhow because he has brought himself low. Finally, the consequences. It makes you to have a class, bring yourself to the class and level of those you do the, that business. It takes two to tango. By the time you have relationship, not kissing relationship with any lady or any man, you guys are one in one thing or the other. That's what the Bible says. The husband and wife will come, they are one. You guys are one in one thing or the other. If the person carry HI, whatever, you guys are one in HIV. If you carry whatever sickness, you guys are one in that sickness. Sometimes you can even say the genetic flow. That's why you can see somebody, he said he looks like so-so person. 
Remember the case of one musician and one pastor. They were accusing. I didn't say they did it, but this is an accusation that came. So be very careful. Not allow your Nakesim ministry to disorganize your life. I remain Jovika. Do well to follow this page. Share this video. If you think it's educative, learn. But one thing I want to promise you, if you have a relationship with God, with God, all things are possible. You can avoid that spirit. It's a very strong spirit that holds people. They can't resist it.